So what I'm going to take a look at now is some ripstop nylon fabric. Now when you get fabric, it comes typically on a bolt. That's the name of this roll here, a bolt, just like a nut and bolt. And it has two different dimensions. One of them's about 60 inches wide, and then if I rolled this out, it'd run about 100 yards long. And the fibers have two different names. The ones that run 100 yards long are called warp fibers, or warp threads. That's my American accent, you ready? Warp, warp, there we go. Like the drives on Star Trek, warp drives. So that's the long threads, 100 yards. And then the short ones that go 60 inches are called fill, as in F-I-L-L, -L, not P-H, so fill. They have two other names, they're called woof and weft, I'm not going to use them, but you can and I won't pass you, I won't uh, grade you as a fail, but we're going to call them fill and warp threads. If you take a look at the edge of the material, you'll see it's all fuzzy and furry and there's some little holes here where a pinch roller grabbed it. This is called the selvage. It's like the word salvage, but with an E, selvage. And the reason we care about this is if we had a scrap of fabric, and I think I've got one, let me just grab it, I'll put it on the table. If we had a scrap of fabric, and if we can find the selvage, there it is, I now know which way the warp threads are running, because they run parallel to it, just like on this roll here. So selvage is the fuzzy edge, and what it is actually is the fill threads where they change direction and come back through the loom. It leaves a fuzzy edge. Now sometimes that gets machined up in production, but there's selvage. Now when this fabric gets woven, it comes off the loom, and it goes through two giant rollers that are heated, and they compress the weave into itself. And it crushes it down, and it makes it less porous. And that process of going through those two big heated rollers is called calendaring, just like uh, months of the year, calendaring, calendar. And the reason we care about that is it reduces the, the permeability of the fabric. It makes it less porous, which is a good thing for us. So calendaring reduces the porosity. Now, if we take a look at the fabric itself, we're all familiar with the term ripstop. We use it every day of the week. But if I asked you to describe to me what ripstop is, you might struggle a little bit. But if we take a look at it, a ripstop weave is a type of weave that has a raised area or thickened area periodically, in this case, about every eighth of an inch. And the idea is that if a rip occurs, it should stop at the very next square. So that's what ripstop is all about. So I'll just review that. This is a bolt of material. For those of you that have studied for the written test, you've already seen a diagram of this, and I think it has a direction A and says, what's the name of the fibers that run direction A? And the one I'm indicating right now would be fill. If it was the long way, 100 yards, that'd be warp. Selvage is the fuzzy side of the edge here. And calendaring is the process where the fabric, after it's been woven, is compressed to push the weave in on itself, which reduces its porosity.